Hi, this is Dennis from thesoundadvisor.com. I'm going to walk you through the proper way to set up a reverb plugin in Pro Tools. Now, I'm going to use an aux input channel and use some busing in Pro Tools to get some reverb on my acoustic guitar melody. So let's open up the mixer window. I'm going to hold Control and hit Plus on a PC. It opens that right up. And so right here, I have my guitar melody. And on this channel, all I have is an EQ on the insert. Now, what a lot of people will do to get reverb on that is simply put a reverb plugin right on the insert on that channel. So let's just do that. Click here, go to plugin, reverb, and I'm going to put the D-verb because everybody has that. So in this scenario, this entire guitar is being passed through this plugin. So I need to use this slider to control the amount of dry to wet signal that I'll hear. So let me hit play, and I'll move the slider up and down, and you can hear what's going on. Okay, you get the idea. So yeah, there's reverb on that guitar now, but it's done in a very inefficient way. Now, if you had a session going and you had 20, 30 tracks going, you probably want reverb on 75% of what you have, so you might end up with 20 different reverb plugins. So from a computer processing standpoint, you're going to run into some problems. But also, mix-wise, you'll run into some problems. You'll probably end up with a bunch of different styles of reverbs and lengths of reverbs, and it's going to clutter your mix. You probably want to keep it down to, say, three, four, or five reverbs total on a song. So let's get rid of this. Let's delete this. Let me just go up here and say no insert. Now right down here I have a delay set up on an aux input track. Now we're going to create a reverb just like this. So I'll click there because I want my reverb to be right next to it. So I'll go up to track, say new, and I want to create an aux input stereo aux input because I want my reverb stereo. Click create and it goes right here. Now let me just double click here and I'll just call that reverb. So now I need to, on the inserts, put a reverb here. So let me click here, go to multi-channel, reverb, and I'll put the D-verb there. And now I want this slider on 100%, so I'm going to hear just the reverb. And I'll control the amount of reverb on that guitar through a send over here or a bus. So next I need to set an input for this. So this is when we get into busing. So I'll go to input, click on this and go to bus, and I'm going to set it to bus 1 and 2. Now anything bus to 1 and 2 will now go to this reverb. So let's go back to our guitar. So we go up to the sends, and this is sort of like an aux send on an analog console. So I'll click here, and I'm going to add a bus, and I'll, I want to add bus 1 and 2. Now this fader pops up. Now this is the, the control that sends a portion of this guitar out to this reverb. So this is now our wet to dry uh, ratio. So let me hit play and I'll move that up and down. Okay, so now you can see the reverb being returned over here. So you might run into one problem by doing it like this, and that is when you start soloing tracks. So if I were to hit solo, if I had a bunch of stuff going, I hit solo on this acoustic guitar, you'll notice over here the reverb gets muted. So what I need to do is what's called put that into solo safe mode. So if I hold control and hit the solo button, it gets grayed out. So now when anything is soloed, it's incapable of being muted. And that's the way you're going to want it. So when I do solo something, I hear the reverb. OK. So now let's do a little tips and tricks kind of thing. So on all these channels right here, the vocal through the bass. Now if I click on vocal through the bass, I hit Shift and click on there. I'm probably going to want the option of putting reverb on all these channels. Maybe not the bass, but let's just put it there. So I'm just going to click here and say no send. So then if I hold the alt key and shift on a PC and click up here and say add a bus one and two, watch what happens. All of these now 
have a bus or the option to be bussed out to that reverb. So it's just a handy way to set things up. So right now I'm looking, because this is highlighted, I'm looking at the bus output from the guitar melody. So let me just bring this fader up and we have reverb again. I'll move it up and down for you. Okay, now let's say on my mandolin track here, I wanted some reverb. I would just click here. You can see they all start at zero. So you're in control of the reverb amount. So I'll move that up a little bit. Might want some on there. Let's say on the lap steel, oh yep, I'm gonna probably want some reverb on there also. So it's just little tips and tricks kind of thing. So I hope this was helpful. I think it's gonna keep your computer happier and I also think it's gonna keep your mixes sounding better. So thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. See you later.